Hey guys, uh, today we're watching Necrons uh, vs Eldar on Fata Morga a Dark Crusade replay Servant on the top side as Eldars Goes for two Bone Singers, uh, two Guardians and probably Dark Reaper Mass uh, That's what's working best against Necrons on the bottom side we've got uh, Harry Potter, also uh, known as Katana Harry Potter 7, funny name He builds summoning core first That means he wants to get out uh, some wraiths to counter Dark Reapers starts building the first generator at 40 seconds. Not the best idea. Second one. He captures uh, this outer point first with the first uh, scarab squad. He is probably expecting dark reapers. And that's right. Servant is doing dark reapers. A fleet of foot but I'm not sure what will he play, aggressive style or defending uh, with economy upgrades. Both styles are pretty good, but the aggressive one is more risky, uh, but can work be better most of the times. Because uh, Necrons can't stop uh, Dark Reaper Mass very easily. But uh, Katana prepares well with fast raves. He will be able to counter Dark Reapers at the beginning at least, until um, Rave Thumb will be used on Monolith. Not even sure if Servant will make use of such ability. The upgrade that allows Bone Singer to teleport in here, and the block production of monolith. We are here to fulfill Success. our duty. Servant uh, wasting time on trying to destroy this obelisk. Now that's the first mistake he makes. Another Dark Reaper squad goes straight in his in the Necron's base, but he can get uh, tied up in close, co in close combat by Wraith. It's all about how Servant will uh, out-micro these Wraiths. He already captured one Necron point and upgrades it. A good thing to do. Five generators for Necron now, and uh, that's 60 economy, and 74 to 10 for uh, Servant. Sixth uh, generator on the way, 70 economy for Necron soon. Now Servant will have to micro very well away from these Wraiths in order not to lose his Dark Reapers. In tier 1, uh, Necron cannot give uh, the Wraith upgrades. He'll have to enter tier 2. Also, Necron Lord on the way. A uh, Necron Lord will have to destroy this listening shrine, otherwise, it will be really bad for Necron. It would take too much time for Necron to get in Elder Base and destroy, try to destroy some generators. Better just destroy this listening shrine. But uh, Bunches now are out and Bunches can kill the Raves. That will be a problem for uh, Necron. Brave down in a matter of seconds. So 70 economy for Katana, making flayed ones, 
not the best unit to make uh, against Eldars because uh, of fleet of foot. Dark Creepers can out micro them easily. We are and Servant goes tier 2. Captured this Necron point. He can even play pretty relaxed from now on. His economy is quite decent right now. He is able to upgrade more of his uh, listening shrines. Dark Reapers alive, Bunch is alive, everything is okay. Raves go on Harris. This generator could get destroyed. It would be good if uh, Katana focused the Wraith, uh, the Bone Singer. And yeah, Bone Singer gets killed. Now even Necron's uh, relic point got captured, and this Guardian can go on critical locations. A second generator will go down here, and now Banshee upgrade is required, and just kill those Wraiths. Listening Shine got upgraded a bit late, but it gets enough time to destroy one wraith and this generator will be saved yeah it will be saved wraith wakes up from the dead but he gets killed instantly without wraith up up upgrade uh, they die really fast they are only good in close combat against fire warriors uh, guardsmen and dark reapers Also, uh, Guardians, Scouts can be countered by Wraiths, but usually those units can't be countered and with Necron Warriors. No reinforce on Dark Reapers, so that's a good thing, because the Eldar will need resources on something else. Bunches uh, would be more uh, actual in this situation because uh, Katana has got only close combat units like Flayed Ones, uh, Wraiths and Necron Lord. Dark Reapers aren't really good against uh, such units. Bunch is also not getting reinforced. What will Servant do? A Falcon Grab Tank and what else? Reinforced armor. He's making upgrades now and researches Warp Spider Stone. That's probably a mistake. Warp Spiders. Mm, not the best idea. Warp Spiders are good against Necrons, but only when Necron has lots of Necron warriors and uh, flayed ones. Units that move really slow. Against uh, Wraiths, uh, Warp Spiders can't do much. And only Wraiths is what Necron is doing right now. Warp Spiders, yeah, a big mistake, in my opinion, but we'll see. Necron's economy, very good right now. Two Monoliths. And decent speed, uh, enough population points, so right now Necron is in a, is in a good position, in a better position than Eldar. Six minutes Eldar's economy is worse, making only now his upgrade, a global upgrade for requisition, and warp spiders are on the way also quite late, 10th minute. The only bad thing now about uh, Katana, he doesn't have enough population for Immortals to get out. Now if he builds this Abelisk, uh, Immortals could get out of Monolith and kill this Falcon. 
right now. Very good Harris with Braves. Nice. Now Braves are really good at harassing points generators. Basically harassing uh, enemy economy against any race. No artifacts for Necron Lord though. But uh, Necron survives and without that because Eldar had not enough army in tier 1. No artifacts were required for Necron to survive. So he just went straight tier 2. Now he goes tier 3 with very good economy, enough army and very good resources uh, in reserve. Over 1000. I would give an Akron a victory here, but I'm not sure. Servant still has a chance. Although Warp Spiders were a really bad decision. Second global on tier 2 being made by Servant. In his place I'd go tier 3. But I understand he doesn't have enough. Uh, requisition income only 98, it's not enough against Necrons, especially when Warp Spiders are out. They require very huge resources income to be able and reinforce. Yes. This Guardian squad trying to capture the strategic point, but it's a, uh, a little bug happens. I simply do not capture the point. But no, no chance for Elder now. Just no chance because he got outtached. Necron is on the way to tier 4. He only needs a relic to get his monolith out in in about 1 2 minutes. And servant goes tier 3. But he got badly outtaged, and as you can see, warp spiders are completely useless. They cannot do anything against wraiths. Falcon also deals very low damage to buildings. And it will be over. It will be over soon. Another global upgrade for green income on Necron. Always a good upgrade. Very well played here by Necron. Harassed Eldar. Uh, most of the game destroyed three generators here. Countered uh, Dark Reapers uh, easily with fast raves. And outtached Eldar by far. Now he can order Monolith. He's got his relic. Servant can quit the game. He doesn't know that Katana is tier 4 now. Yeah, that's right, Monolith is on the way. It's, it's a unit that is being uh, made very fast, about 30 seconds. I don't know uh, the production time of all the units in the game. But it's the fastest uh, tier 4 unit that is produced. Immortals being lost, but Katana does 
doesn't really care right now. He's got so huge income of energy and two mana leaves. He can lose as much as he wants now. Because he is sure he will win. Monolith gets out fast. He's got um, teleport also. But as you can see, it moves really slow. It's really slow unit. And when the teleports are wasted, it can be really risky. It's enough to damage Manolith a little and he will not be able to teleport away. And he, as you can see, it moves very slowly. So it, sometimes you cannot save him if you want to go back. Manolith cannot move very fast. So yeah, it's over here. Finally, well played by Necron. Essence of the Nightbringer was researched, and in Dark Crusade you could summon only Nightbringer on Necron Lord. There was no such thing as Deceiver. And yeah, it's game over. Not the best game that Servant can show, but still a uh, good game. Katana wins. Still very close, they both kill and lose the same amount of units. But uh, Katana destroyed 13 buildings and Servant only one. That was probably uh, Obelisk. I hope you enjoyed this uh, game. If so, you can leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and stay up to date. Thanks for watching.